Okay, so this is a demonstration video on how to draw with a compass. Um, I'm going to show you two different types of compasses. Um, and one of them I'm used a lot more than the other. The other one, um, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so I've got right here, this is a uh, just your normal compass. Okay, this one's made out of metal. You can buy these that are made out of plastic. I don't think they make wooden ones. Um, but these are tools that really help you draw um, perfect circles. Okay, um, lots of people I've seen like to trace around something circular like a can or a bottle. And sometimes you can get off um, those circles and then you mess up your circle and it turns into an oval or some weird shape. So I'm gonna show you how to use a compass. So right here, there's like a little slot right here. Okay, that's where you put a pencil. Just like when you draw anything in here, you always want to start out in pencil so you don't mess up. Okay, and then you won't ruin a piece of paper because you can just erase it. Okay, when I put my pencil in it, you need to have the pencil about the same length as this little metal um, rod, I guess. I guess that's what you call that. Okay, and then you're going to press this flap down. And this flap just kind of secures your pencil in there. If it wiggles around a little bit, like right now this guy, he's pretty, he's stuck in there. It moves a little bit, but that's not too bad. Okay. Um, I just want to show you the difference between a compass that is, um, that's pretty tight, like it's not um, broken at all. Like this compass will work, hopefully it'll work pretty well. Okay, that's a good one. This is another metal compass, and I'm going to put a pencil in here and see what happens. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting it through this little slot, and then I'm lining it up with the metal rod so that it's the same length. Okay. The difference between this compass and the other one is this um, metal arm right here is very loose. It'll like um, move a lot when you're drawing, and you don't want that. Okay, let me show what this show you what this one looks like when I move the metal arm. This one is pretty tight. That's what you want. It will not move. Not if you don't want it to. Okay. So after you have your pencil in here, you're gonna look on the side of this um, metal part right here. This it's kind of like a a protractor, like a mini tiny protractor. I'm going to put this up close so you can kind of see. Let me focus again. Okay, there we go. If you see, there's all these little numbers on there. That's your radius of your circle. Okay, um, a radius is what the circle is halfway. So, like if you're drawing. Um, like half a circle, that's how wide it is. Okay, um, and you'll just pick a wideness. If your thing is really narrow like this, you're gonna have a tiny circle. If it's really wide, like all the way to right here, you're gonna have a big circle. I'm just gonna do a small one because my paper isn't very big. So I'll do a, a three, okay? I gotta focus again because it was up close. Okay, so what you're gonna do, and I gotta fix my pencil, is you're gonna put the metal side down on your paper. The metal rod. Okay? Then what you're gonna do, and I'm just gonna hold the top, is you're gonna spin your. Oh, wait, let me move this, sorry. Forgot I needed more room. Make sure your, your pencil is touching the paper. So my metal rod is, is touching the paper and my pencil is touching the paper. What you're going to do next is you're going to spin your paper. Do not move the hand that's holding the compass. Now my pencil moved a little bit so I'm going to go over this again moved upwards 
Okay, there we go. Now if I take my compass off, you should have a perfect circle. Okay, there's a little indent because I was pressing down hard. Hopefully you don't have that. Um, I think that's because I'm working in my sketchbook and I just wanted to make sure none of the pages work. So I'm going to do this again so you can see. So I'm going to press my pencil down so they're the same length. This one moves a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to just pick a spot on my page. I'll go right here. The metal rod is touching the paper. The metal rod is touching the paper and the pencil is. Okay, not spinning the compass, but spinning, spinning my paper. My compass is not moving. I'm holding it in the same spot while you're spinning the paper. Oh, got off a little bit. You're drawing your circle. So that's what my circle looks like using a compass. Okay, this is a different kind of compass. I have not used this one very much. I think it's mainly for dots and very small circles. I'll hold this up close to me so you can see. Okay, so I've got these little circles. I've got really tiny, tiny ones. And then there's also a little ruler on the side. So this one's pretty easy to use compared to this one. You're just going to press it against your paper and stick your pencil in one of the holes and trace around it. And you want to press, push your pencil up against the edge of one of these little holes. Now these ones I'm kind of worried about. I think my blood's too big. Yep. I can't even fit my pencil in there. Now if I take this off, voila, he got perfect circles. Now I'm just going to focus it so you can see it a little better. So this is how you use a compass. It's pretty easy as long as you're holding it right. So hold the compass and spin your paper. Don't spin your compass and hold your paper. Okay? Hold the compass, spin your paper. Now this, uh, hopefully you learned something from this. Good luck with your compasses.